Everywhere GBS. Hello viewer, welcome to today's episode of Women's View. I'm your host Anne Moremi and uh, I want to remind you that uh, we are on YouTube as well as GBS, uh, the channel is GBS TV Kenya. We are also on Facebook live, the handle is GBS Kenya and in case you want to send us a message the number to use is 21144. Today we're going to be having a very interesting discussion on studio. We are going to be talking about mental health. Uh, last week, on October 10th, we celebrated uh, Mental Health Day, and uh, this day is observed uh, all over the world. It's an international day, and uh, for a long time, mental health in Kenya has been um, a neglected disease. I've just come to, to learn that where it's classified as under, but of late, it's becoming something that is, uh, people are more aware of. So in line with that, today's topic is mental health. In studio, I have uh, a lady and a gentleman, and I want to give the lady an opportunity to introduce herself. Welcome. My name is Lucy Wanzakariuki. I'm a nurse by profession. I'm practicing my nursing services at Kangundo Level 4 Hospital. It's in Machakos County. I am a specialist in community health nursing. This is the area in which we look more of wellness of the people. It is more of preventive services. We want to make sure that people do not end up in the facilities. And in case they do, we still have a chance to follow them there. Wow. Yes. What a lovely introduction. Welcome to the show. Thank you. We also have a gentleman, Karibu Sana. Yeah, I'm Anthony Kariuki Karia. I'm also a nurse by profession. I'm a nurse manager at Embu Kibogo Dispensary whereby we offer the primary health care at the community level there, where before the patients are diagnosed with big diseases, before these patients see even the doctors, we at the community level at the health centers, we are in first contact with the patient. Mm -hmm. And uh, my, my motivation is that uh, these are the factors which are affecting this patient should be known in our society and even over the worldwide so that now we can have a platform to discuss even from the source of the problems because the, the source of the problems that we have in our society yeah. comes from the society, the, the community where we come from. Exactly. Yeah. But the time you see a problem in society, it has emanated from from the community level and become now yeah. grown yes. and grown. True. And when we look at our society, we're finding that we have a lot of a lot of issues that uh, sometimes were not there before. So Lucy, I just wanted to ask you, in the past, why has mental health been neglected in the country? What I would say, mental health usually talks about the study of the uh, the mind. We yes. are talking about the mind of a person. And mm. when we are talking about the mind of a person, we are talking about the activities that happen that we cannot be able to see. The, we have the brain. We yes. have the higher centers of brain which will address the, the reasoning part of the person, the memory part of the person. You realize that we think that the only mentally affected people are those who are throwing stones on the streets, yeah. but we need to talk about Not what about, clothes. yes, what about a health mind? That is yeah. why we are here to discuss about mental health. Yes. And it all begins from birth, mm. inside the womb of a mother. Wow. We have a baby there. Mm -hmm. That that we call a thing. Mm -hmm. That child is yes. growing up. Yes. Then from there, the child comes to the society. Mm -hmm. When that child comes to the society, we are going to talk about the brain of this person. Yes. This is a person. 
they might be seen as small small adults. No, mm. they are not. These are people who need to be mentored for tomorrow. Then this, the, our government, I will not blame it because mental health for a long time has not been addressed. Yes, for a But long because long of many things, the change of technology, change of generation, we are in the first 21st century. Are, it's yeah. not the same way as the the things we used to study in history long time ago. Yes. Things have just changed. Yes. And for that, our mental health has not been addressed. Yes. I will, I'm looking forward for a country whereby even from home to school, to the institutions that we work, mm. we have mental health practitioners, we mm. have counselors, we have people to look so and so is not well, mm. so and so came and came today. What is wrong? Something um, is wrong. I and when we that. reach at that level, mm -hmm. we will be addressing mental health. Exactly. Nowadays, what we are addressing, mental illnesses. Oh, and when okay. we look at the mental illnesses, yes. we are not going to help this particular person. Yes. Because if you do not have a mental illness, who is going to look for you? We yes. need to have systems that are going to look at mental health, mm -hmm. the wellness of people, so that when we see devi deviations from normal, we, we can, can be able. Early. Yes. And you know, you've raised a very, a very interesting um, concept because she said that there's a difference between mental health and mental illness. Please, uh, Anthony, please clarify the difference for us. Uh, the difference, when you talk about mental health, mm -hmm. is that... Uh, we are talking about the psychological well-being. Okay. Psychological well-being of a person. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whether a person is able to function normally. Okay. That is mental health. health. Yes. Well-being of that person. And when you talk about uh, mental illness, yes. we talk about uh, the deviation now mm -hmm. from the normal, from the unhealthy mind mm -hmm. to a sick mind. Yes. And uh, as uh, she was explaining. Eh, let me read to what she has said. Yes. The negation have come whereby when we talk about mental health mm -hmm. and mental illness, yes. we pick the mental illness. And uh, the mental illness in our community, uh, I, I use the word that is used, nimwenda. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Nimwenda, nimwenda, wazimu. Yeah. Mm. Uh, ni ni saiki. So these people... is mental, you know. Yeah, is <laughs> Cheesy. Those terms. Yeah. Cheesy, yes. And uh, the reason why the neglection part has come mm -hmm. is that uh, this person is not useful to the yes. family. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yes. He's not useful to the community. Okay. He's not somebody who can uh, uh, produce. Yes anything of importance to the community. Okay. So the, the, the community, the, the government has no view of this person. Yes. But we, we forget mm -hmm. that this mental illness came, or us, even us as we teach here, the question, the, the question that you should ask, are we mentally ill? I know. That are is we, my next question. How uh, do you know? We, because that is the question. <laughs> are we mentally Are we, are we mentally healthy? healthy? I you know, know, because you know, unlike physical illness, yes, it's very easy to tell when I'm having a cough. Yes, yes. I can tell when a cold is coming. I yes. can tell when malaria. And if I'm not very really sure, yes, I can go to hospital yes. and they can draw blood yes. and test it. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, when I'm not mentally healthy, uh, Lucy, yes, how will I know? And if I don't know, is it that other people are the ones who will be telling me? Mm -hmm. Because when I'm sick and I'm coughing, I can tell. I'm sick when I have an earache, I can tell when I have a stomach ache. I myself, I don't need an external party mm -hmm. to tell me. So when I'm mentally healthy, can I tell? When I'm mentally unhealthy, can I tell? Okay, when you're mentally healthy, you can tell. Okay. When you're mentally ill, you can tell. The problem is here. Do we know? how we can tell that we are healthy or we are not healthy. That is the biggest challenge. And that is the we question, call it yeah. diagnosis. diagnosis. How can I uh, diagnose myself? Yeah. You find oh, that men yeah. mental illnesses, or when you are not mentally healthy, you start slowly, slowly, slowly. It's chronic. It's, it's chronic. not a one day journey. It's long term. It's long term. Yes. Something must have happened long ago. Yes. Something must have happened or something must be about to happen okay. for you mm -hmm. to become mentally ill. Yes. The question is, how will we know? That is, that the is why we want to tell. 
you can be able to tell that you are not mentally well when you realize that all of a sudden mm -hmm. you lose interest in the things you used to like. Okay. You loved to go for gym, you wake up this morning and you're like, I don't feel like going. Okay. You love this type of food, you don't want to eat. Okay. Not even that particular food, you want to stay hungry. Okay. People used to be interested in some things they do not want. People mm -hmm. used to be very calm, they just become tundras all of a sudden. Or with time, people realize there is change in behavior in Anne. Mm -hmm. Anne is not the way she used to be. She is quarrelsome, she is overreactive. Mm -hmm. There are some things that we can tell in your behavior yeah. that has changed. Okay. You can tell that yes. you are not healthy. Can this tell. can be from things that happened long time ago it could be the way you were brought up mm -hmm. it could be the way some stressors in life have just come yes. and you cannot be able to cope okay. a person who is mentally healthy mm -hmm. will be able to cope with stresses will be able to tell i do not want to eat githeri mm -hmm. because i've taken it for a long time yes. but if you do not want to take this githeri which you used to like but you can't figure out then something is wrong. Okay. Most of the time in mental illnesses, people will tell. People but will tell. as a person, you will not tell. Ah, so yes. it's easy for others to tell. To tell to you. Tell you. Yes. I don't know whether Most I, of sure the you time. have something to add. How do you uh, tell? Because you're the one who actually has uh, brought how, us to this point, yes. How do I tell? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't answer that question, how do I tell, okay. first. Mm -hmm. Because what I, I tell, I, let, let me give an example. Okay. If I come in late, yes. in the show late, uh -huh. I, I meet the presenter who is very um, angry with me. Agitated, agitated, anxious, panicked. Not happy, panicked, what really happened? Yes. And uh, when I come, the show might continue on. Uh, and uh, as we go to an end, it might be not be a good show because the things mm. did not happen. Why am I saying this? I'm saying this because the, 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 the problems of mental health yes. are things that come gradually, slowly by mm. slowly. slowly. Yeah. I want to go now back to wo uh, what normally happens with the human mind, okay. with this mental health. Yes. The human mind uh -huh. is when by this, uh, you, you, you as a person, yes. you as a person, once you are born, mm -hmm. there are some part of your mind yes. that are inborn. Okay. And when they are inborn, mm -hmm. that is where we call it now an, a drive we call ED. Mm -hmm. That is something we are born with it. Okay. And those uh, stages of mind yes. transit from ED, mm -hmm. and what, we, what, I, what, I, what I call ED, in you, okay. you as a person, yes. as an individual, mm -hmm. that ED tells you now it is time that you go and drink. Okay. For example, yes. you, you, you want to drink. Mm -hmm. When a baby is born, the heat tells the baby it's time to suckle. Yes. The baby will go to suckle. Yes. Exactly. And if you don't suckle the baby, the baby will react. They will, yes, they will. They will react. Right. Yes. So this part of the mind desires a very immediate gratification. Very immediate. Very immediate. Yeah. It's instant. instant. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. I'm hungry. I'm, I'm hungry. hungry. Cry. Yes. yes. Cry. Mm. I'm wet. Mm -hmm. I'm wet. I want to be changed. Yes. Now, this will transit automatically. Mm -hmm. It is should transit from now, the Hindi, there should come something we call the ego. Okay. The you now. Yes. The rational you. Okay. The reality principle in you. Yes. But I, I want, you are thirsty, you want to take water, you're in a vehicle, there is no shop around you. I so know. Will I start crying? Uh, will I start crying? <laughs> <laughs> will I start crying? Mm. Uh -huh. You will not start crying. No. Okay, you, 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 you mind to tell you this is not right? Time. Time. Just be a bit patient. Just be a bit patient. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then, from there, once we are right from the vehicle, you buy the water. Yes. The third one is a super ego, okay. which is the moral principle. Yes. That, that's the mind of a person now. Mm -hmm. And the the super ego once it comes, mm. the, the moral principle, it tells you, if you cry here in this vehicle, people, it is not, it's not a good thing for a grown-up to it cry. I mean, Surely think in a about vehicle. how, how, you, how, how people it, take you. How yes. people take you as to cry Surely. for water. Mm. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. now that is the mind of a human Person. being. Mm. And what happens now from there? Mm. The deviations from normal starts light away from when you were born. Yes. You know, I, I, I wanted to 
ask, eh? Yes. The three stages you've mentioned. Yes. Like the first one. Do yes. you stay there for one year and then you yes. move to two years? Yes. Is there, is there a way? Yes, yes. You should, the, the first one, it should be from zero, from day one yes. to 18 months. 18 months. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. Then the stage two is from 18 months, whereby now you should now develop the ego to around 12 months. Then from there, now you should know what is good. 18 months to? 18 months to 12 years. To 12 years. Yes. Okay, okay, 12 years. So at that particular moment, yeah. this individual, mm -hmm. his mind should be regulated around that. Okay. I want to answer your question now. Yes. How will we know that this person is sick? Mm -hmm. How do these things come? Yes. I want us to go step by step. Yes, we have I, like, three I really like the... We have the three the three stages there. Yes. There's one that is, needs something to be done immediately. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The other one tells you, no, this time, the reality one. Yes. Then there is the moral one. Yeah. No, it is not morally acceptable to in this, behave like that. this yes. organization to behave like that. So mm -hmm. that moral principle will make you behave the way you are behaving. Yes. And that is the you now. That is the personality in you. Yes. What normally happens, mm -hmm. so that now we start knowing what is happening. And that is what the psychologists <laughs> say. Yes. Never judge a person mm -hmm. by what he does today. Wow, really? Yes. yes. <laughs> I'm Don't laughing because, you know, I'm thinking about reality, but please go ahead. Yes, you know? never judge a person by what he does, what today. does today. today. Okay. When I came late for the show, yes. don't judge <laughs> me by my coming late. late. Psychologists say, and you believe, find out mm -hmm. why. Yeah. The person came out, came in late. 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 Okay. I want to show you how you know this person is sick. Okay. During the development stages, yes. If some things are not <coughs> done, yes. right from the word go, mm -hmm. then the symptoms start manifesting. Okay. How? <coughs> when this child is saying, <coughs> "Mom, I want to suckle," oh. and then, for instance, this child. Mother is as passed away during giving birth. Uh, what do you think will happen? There will be no, will be no gratification of that desire. desire. And it's in, it should be instant. <coughs> it should be instant. <coughs> yes. Sorry, so, Paul Esano. So mm. the child will not have anybody to yes. care for. Exactly. And this one now, mm. that lack mm -hmm. of the caregiver. Yes. Will, will come in the mind and create mm -hmm. a change <coughs> in mind. Now, the, the child who suckled and the child who didn't suckle are two different people. Light from the word? Go. go. And that is where now we want them to bring the discussion. We want to bring the discussion now <coughs> when and how Do this. You identify how it. Our, our mental, how there is deviation from the normal. Yes. So that we start talking about mental awareness and mental health. Well. This, this, this child needs suckling. When they are not suckle, there is a fixation of mind. Oh. That now we study, and now we say the child, it is called the oral stage. Mm -hmm. The oral stage is where the child wants to suckle. Yes. If it does not suckle, that child, there is a gap. Yes. And that gap will be manifested <coughs> later in, in life. It will. It will. I, I want it to come. It's so amazing that yeah. something. I want to show you one thing. Which seems so minor. Yes, so minor. Yeah. That that will have a consequence later. Later. Yes. Okay. And I want us to also to look on, on what is encompassing this symptom. I want to drive to you how to know. Yes. How to this know. symptom. Yes. Is some there are things that are surrounding us the environment. Yes. So we, we are going to go hand in hand with the person, mm -hmm. the environment, the factors. Yes. That I'm going to change. Mm -hmm. This ch this child now, who will not suckle, yes. that gap will be in the mind. Wow. And mm -hmm. what will happen now, when this child grows up, if this this behavior continues, and always the, the child is crying, the caregiver is not around, the caregiver who was who the guardian was left to take care for the child is not there for the child. Mm -hmm. It will be a character in the baby to yearn. For love. For love. <laughs> to yearn for milk. So it will be a character. When this child grows up to yes. be an old man like me, yes. and then you meet this man, now man and in and the bar, and you want drinking, to want to drinking, <laughs> drinking one <laughs> bottle after the other. Yes. That's a manifestation that this person is not mentally 
well. So that's a symptom that has manifested. Okay. How will you know? So when I see a man seated mm -hmm. in a bar yes. from morning to evening, uh, drinking, uh, definitely that is a mentally ill person. person. Okay? Mm. The question is, how do I know that this person is mentally ill? As a psychologist, mm. I will seek to find out why does that man Stay. sit in that bar All drinking? Day long. It, you come to realize that is that a man is a man who was brought up by a single parent, the mother was not there, the parents died when you were small, and then you see now we mistake when we start laboring people. We, uh, that's the point that we come in yes. and judge them now. And we judge, judge them the now mm. instead of asking why. why. And what happened? Okay, before okay. you continue, because yes. I, we are really flowing very well, yes. I just want to come to Miss Lucy and ask, uh, is that a very high expectation? <laughs> because <laughs> when you say, don't judge somebody now, yes. always seek to understand why. The person, uh, is it possible to, to, to always react react like that to people isn't that a very high level of expectation most of <coughs> sorry <coughs> most of the time mm -hmm. the people that we deal with mm. the people that we live with every day mm. you realize that we judge them according to the way we want yes if there is something you cannot control mm. it is what people will do yes. the only thing you can control is about you Yes. So you will realize that we are in a society, not mm. here, not there, but everywhere. Yes. We take things the way they look like. Yes. We do not dig to know. Okay. I remember one time my neighbor had a baby mm -hmm. who was one and a half years. Yes. Every time the mother was away, I could hear as if the baby is being beaten by mm. the house help. Yes. So I decided to peep through the door the window yes. to see what is really happening to this baby. Mm -hmm. When I peeped, the house help was standing on top of a table and the baby was knocking herself down. Oh dear, okay. Knocking the cupboard, knocking the doors, there was everything she could come across. Mm. Then I was like, what has happened? Really? From that on? time, I went to the mother. Yes. For how long did you breastfeed your baby? Oh, you asked that question? Yes. Mm -hmm. The mother was, when I, wo when I had breastfed for seven months, a chance came for me to go to Ki Kinganjo okay. to become a police officer. So yeah. I left the baby with my mother. Oh, yes. My question was answered. Immediately. Immediately. But you're lucky Be because you have this knowledge in yes. you. Yes. Mm. Because the reason being, as he said, we have this store. We mm. call it ED. Yes. That part of the mind, which mm -hmm. is full of energy mm -hmm. and which seeks immediate gratification. Okay. The baby did not get what she wanted to get. At that point. You can imagine how long they take in Kiganjo. Now mm. you come back. Yes. The baby was in a night. Tomorrow you are not breastfeeding. Yes. Where is the mother? Nobody to explain. The mm. baby cannot understand. Yes. But what about the society of the people I was living with? Yes. What was going in their mind. Mm -hmm. The house help is bad, the mother is yeah, bad, exactly. there's no They're good care now. in her. We uh, are all judging. Yes. But the problem is not today. The problem was Back. yesterday. Exactly. As I said when we were beginning the show, it is about yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And tomorrow all of mm -hmm. them combined to give one good package of a good mental health status of a person. Okay. So most of the time the society we live, we judge. Yes, we judge today. Yes. We don't ask the question, yes. why, what happened yesterday and the day before, what happened many years that may be the result of this. Yes. Back to you, Anthony. Please clarify one thing because life is uh, quite dynamic mm -hmm. yes. and we do have cases, for example, just to name a very normal example, where the mother can be sick. Maybe you have preeclampsia or you have high blood pressure yeah. and you pass away yes. at birth. Yes. 
but the child survives. No. Thank yes. God at least the life of the child is yes. saved. Yes. That child yes. is not going to have somebody to breastfeed them because that person is not there. Yes. So this is not an issue of neglect. Yes. It's an issue of circumstance. Yes. So I is this something that if the child is breastfed with a bottle, mm -hmm. will it be solved? or Because life happens. What happens? Mm -hmm. <coughs> What happens in uh, the stages of development, yes. and which are very key in mental health, yes. is that now we, we have these institutions of socialization. Yes. The institution of socialization doesn't matter who is taking care. Okay. What matters is the care given. Be, be there. Okay. Because this child who the mother has passed on, yes. or either the mother is sick yes. and he has not blessed the feed, mm -hmm. what uh, is needed is a caregiver okay. who is going to answer okay. to the to the needs of, of the, the child. If the, if the if the if the child has a caregiver uh -huh. who answers to the needs okay. immediately, yes. that means the state of the mind. I uh, let, 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 let's go back yes. and remember mm -hmm. that when you talk about mental health, mm -hmm. we are you, are you are talking about the three parts of the the mind. the mind. So we have catered for this part of the mind yes. that this child is now able to understand. I'm well taken care. No. There will be no gap yes. of yearning to take, yes. of drinking, yearning to do things, yeah. of hunger. You know, hunger, the hunger and will emptiness yeah. and thirst. So if a caregiver uh -huh. comes in, yes. if, a care, if a caregiver comes in, uh -huh. and that's why this show is very important yes. when it comes to understand, understanding mental health, yes. is that back to our families, mm. we have children yes. who have been left behind. Yes, we do. And and these children have been left behind. Mm -hmm. Remember you as a caregiver, mm -hmm. you can be the cause of a mental uh, illness. Issue in the future. In the future. See yourself. As yourself as a caregiver. Important. Yes. As a guardian. Yes. You went and, and uh, adopted a child. Yes. And that child is under your care. Yes. You can be a, a very big contributor of the problems of this child. Mm -hmm. What are we saying? I'm saying like this. When the child is left under your care, yes. give the care in totality. Give it. Yes. Or don't get involved. Or don't get... Well, if, you're, if you're getting if into you're getting it, it, you do. You do if it. you are not, avoid. Uh, avoid it. There is no middle ground There is no middle ground yeah. issues. Because when yeah. once, once you get in... Let me give another example so that I can answer your question well. Okay. The caregiver has taken the role to take care of the child. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. Because that is the first thing we are talking about. Yes. We are by the, the baby needs to have that immediate gratification immediate, yes. of whatever he wants. Yes. And the once now he lacks it. Mm -hmm. We call it the, uh, a psychologist. We, we, we study the theories. Yes. Uh, Eric Erickson, when he was, he was doing the development uh, stages mm -hmm. of psychosocial, he called it the stage of trust versus mistrust. Yes. These are two different ideas uh, that opposite. are conflicting, yes. conflicting ideas, yes. conflicting ideas. Yes. This child might develop trust, mm -hmm. and if it's not handled well, it will develop mistrust. mistrust. Are you together? Yes. So if this child develops mistrust, mm -hmm. this mistrust will be a cause of a symptom of mental illness in future. Okay. So let you as a caregiver yes. take care of this child. Yes. So that the child will develop trust. trust. Mm. All together? Yes. yes. And once he develops trust in, in everybody around, you'll be a very out, outgoing, a very outgoing lady, gentleman, yeah. charming person. Yes. And now that that's now where we start addressing the issue of mental health. health. Yeah. Let me give the other example of the caregiver. Let me interrupt you a little. Hold yes. that thought. Yes. Miss Lucy. Yes. Elongate that for us. We've talked about trust and mistrust yes. at the very early stage. A person who <coughs> has mistrust, <coughs> what are the characteristics of an adult who does not have mistrust? Because I want to, I want to see the, the, that, the, the, the past and the now. Because the people can't link. You know, how can I meet someone? When I meet someone, how can they tell they have a mistrust issue? As an adult. Okay. Uh -huh. We live with these people in our places of work. Yeah. You realize that you are working with a junior or a manager, sorry, <coughs> or a colleague. Yes. You realize that whatever you say, they are mm -hmm. like, are you sure? Uh -huh. Do you mean what you're saying? 
-hmm. you find a situation whereby you're being called by your boss yes. and the first thing you ask is what have i done umesikia akisema nimefanya that fear amesema nime ama kuna shida umesikia so that means this person did not have somebody to trust mm -hmm. at that particular age yes. you realize that these are the people who will are always having suspicious behavior yes. they are not very sure if they are safe yes. because back those days mm. they did not get security yes. you give somebody food and they're like amani sumu oh yeah oh. you're like those so days sad. yes <laughs> you will meet people at place of work mm. you're given some work you cannot complete your task Mm -hmm. Because at those particular days, immediately you start eating, somebody would beat you up, you leave, it, you leave the plate on the table. Yes. You grow up like somebody who cannot complete tasks. Yes. You are trying to tell you that these stages are just as clear as if I don't trust those days, yes. it will come a time that mm -hmm. I cannot trust anybody. Yes. You are insecure. Mm -hmm. <coughs> insecurity sorry you have all the problems because the problems were there those days yes. when we are talking about mistrust and trust it is very real yes. we need to trust our children we need to hug our children mm. from those days mm. they need to know that the society that i live have people who can take care of people yes. we go back to our schools you will find that there are children who cannot even trust the teachers Yes. You go to the universities, they cannot trust their, their fellow students. Mm -hmm. and the, then they have to go back and make sure what you have told me is true. Yeah, they, they just don't I am believe. a nurse. We yeah. have people who cannot trust. They ask you the dosage of a drug, but they have to, to, to read Google. what is written in the, in in the, the paper. The, yes. Because they have to confirm everything. everything. And that also is a burden on them. Yes. Back to you. But before we come back, we need to take a short break because uh, time is not on our side. But yes. this show is very, it, we, we're really learning a lot. Yes. And uh, we'll take a short break. But viewer, keep it here. We shall be right back. Hey. What's up, my people? This is Brand Senior, Mr. KCA, Mr. Glam International Kenya for People's Choice. And the message is, if you are out there and you have any talent, all art, if you have any artistic thing, this is the place to be, Wednesday and Thursday. Hey, joy, fruit of the Holy Spirit. Like in the on the track. In award, Junajua Spirit Zenu is 8 p.m. na Masaya mbili mbili. So 7 p.m. ningependa mwe tune in kama ni pashe cuz I'm your fellow citizen. 8:30 p.m. manze on your favorite channel I'm talking about GBS TV. My name is uh, Tegas Tailu. Hello, I'm Dr. Ruben West. I'm Dr. Charles uh, Mukuka from the United States of America. I come from Ethiopia. From Zambia. I love Kenya very much. I love the Kenyan people. Love is not by confession. Love is by action. Come on now. <laughs> when you are a husband, you are not a husband. It's very important. You can count the seeds in an apple, but you can never count the number of apples in a seed. Her phone is her phone. My phone is my phone. You only know what you know. Who forced you? The more you spend time together, the more stronger. A woman is like a bike. To tell me that they were, were born and it wasn't from a female, mm -hmm. I'd like to know. <laughs> a woman, she's uh, a good asset. Mm -hmm. And a woman, she's a very, very good investment. Mm -hmm. When you're up, your family knows who you are. But when you're down, you'll figure out who your family is. Thank you so much. <laughs> Ninani! Ninani! Carry on! Hola! Genius DJ! Genius DJ! Genius DJ! Genius Hyphen! Wow! It's big! 
bigger, it's better, it's live. I'll be your host, I follow the experience. Genius Republic DJ Karian. Join us for Echo Mziki each and every Sunday from 8 a.m. For the best in gospel music as we host your favorite gospel ministers. Every Sunday, live on your favorite station, GBS TV. Boom, 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 Karian! Hey! Now it's time for begin. Everyone, are you ready? Who knew I'm not going to come out? It's a new rule and beer. Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Why, hey! Everywhere, GBS. Do you thirst for sporting action, but you can get it? Well, we got you covered. Your latest rugby scores. Join our prediction center for an in-depth review of the soccer matches. Local and international boxing boats, breathtaking feature stories from our sports person, tennis, and much more. Sportsugu brings you the hottest debates from our analysts and fans. Are you really a sports fan? Then, don't forget to join the Sportsugu team every Monday from 10 p.m. only on GBS. Your home. The youth, we need to change the way we approach issues. That this, the world out here is very harsh. I was just waiting for things to happen in life. Like finish school, then just go to career life. Some people are depressed. You're not depressed because you are, you know, you have a problem. Some people are depressed because they're frustrated. So we young people, in as much as we claim that we are denied opportunities of leadership, I think we also have to assert ourselves as leaders. And the one challenge that I keep telling the young people, it is the mindset. Uh, mind education is so important in many different ways. When you go to the world, they don't ask you, are you Kekoyo or are you Luya? Hey, I mean Luya, but I don't know how to do Now. Hello viewer, the woman is burdened with so much, such that they don't have time for themselves. If you don't go after what you want, so it's going to be her. Ability is possibility. Investment. When you're up, your family knows who you are. But when you're down, you'll figure out who your family is. Thank you so much. Welcome back, viewer. Thank you so much for keeping it here. Remember that our YouTube channel is GBS TV Kenya, and we're live on Facebook. Today we're talking about mental health, and we're taking a very uh, lo long-term view of it because we're saying that don't judge somebody now, ask why. Because a lot of the things that you see in people now have an origin, they have a history. So let's continue. And uh, basically we talked about, we left it at mistrust and trust. Mm -hmm. And uh, I want Anthony to continue with that uh, conversation of uh, how institutions contribute to to mental health, especially even at that that early level. You, you talked about the the importance of caregivers being effective. Yes. Yes. Now, now let's now see. Now, these are the first institution. Yes. That uh, every human being comes to, mm -hmm. and the first institution is the family. Yes. And uh, we have just uh, mentioned mm -hmm. one of the areas yes. that this child can be affected. Yes. The area of, for example, feeding mm -hmm. and also caring for the child, changing the child. Yes. That's only one area that we have mentioned about the family. Yes. Family as an institution. Mm. What you are saying to the viewer is that a family as an institution plays a very major role, major role in mental well-being of a person. Yes. Which mm -hmm. could, if, n if, if not well handled, could mm -hmm. lead to mental illness. illness. Yes. So we are calling upon families, as even we continue uh, 
rearing the child and also uh, taking care of the children that we are given. Let's know this is the beginning of everything in life. It's yes. a stage whereby the child is socialized. Yes. And then after that, it will shape the direction yes. of the child. Let's look now. This child who has developed mistrust, for instance, yes. and uh, this mistrust mm -hmm. will come to manifest later in life. Yes. But mistrust alone mm -hmm. cannot uh, constitute yes. mental illness. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, they, they constitute something we call personality disorders. Okay. If 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 if, uh, if that stage mm -hmm. comes to an end very yes. fast, uh, uh -huh. and the child suffers mistrust. Yes. That person will not be mentally sick. No. He will not be a psychotic patient. Yes. He can suffer something we call uh, uh, a personality disorder. disorder. You live with a personality that yeah, when right. he comes in the office, mm. you don't want to, to, to keep your, your porch near people because you don't trust anybody, anybody around you. You have to hide them. You have to hide it. Yeah, <laughs> and that's now the way you behave. And that's the way you, you, you grow behave. with it. Yes. And you know, you see now it is how you are brought up. Yes. You see now it is the caregiver, mm. the mother who is watching us, mm. the father who is watching us. Yes. It is you who will make this person have that, as that disorder. kind of a disorder. Yes. So you as a parent, mm -hmm. make sure even as you, you rear your children, yes. as you take care of your children, take care meaning knowing that what you do today yes. will translate to what this person will be tomorrow. Exactly. Now, this mistrust, once it is there, uh -huh. this child is it's not so badly off. Yes. But uh -huh. now when it comes to other institutions of uh, socialization, it uh -huh. becomes an issue. You see, already now when you see somebody who is very suspicious of everybody around, yeah. already this person is mentally not very well. Yeah. This can give a let's have to look at the other role. Okay. The other role of a caregiver is toilet training. Yes. Let's look at the toilet training and how okay. toilet training yes. can also cause mental mm -hmm. illness. Mm -hmm. How it can affect mental Ill health. health. When a child starts toilet training, yes. we call it the stage of uh, anal stage. Yes. Uh, anal stage is where by now the child is taught how to to pass the stool, yes. to open the bowels, you know, and then that is another key stage. Mm. Psychologists say, mm -hmm. when it is done poorly, yes. it will determine the character mm. of this individual okay. later in life. Yes. When the child is starting toilet training, mm -hmm. and the child comes, yes. yeah, for the sake of the viewer, mm -hmm. and then you don't provide the facilities, oh. yeah, mm -hmm. for, for example, opening the bowels. Yes. Yeah. And that child mm. uh, is not able to pass because he has no facilities. Mm -hmm. All the child passes to mm -hmm. here on the on floor. The floor. Yes. And you as a mother, because it's bad manners. Yes. I don't condemn you. Of course. I'll condemn the systems yes. that we have been brought society. up in. Society. Yes. The society and the, the, uh, the setup. Mm -hmm. That child will receive a beating. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. A severe, other beating. Yes. And to you, you are disciplining. Mm -hmm. But what I want to say, you are not disciplining the child. <laughs> what you are doing. <laughs> you are creating a mental you illness. You are creating <laughs> a Without knowing. In the mind <laughs> of the, the child. child. Hey, this please. child, what will happen? Uh -huh. Because now he has opened the bowels and the, the stool is there. Mm -hmm. I debate the child thoroughly. Yes. And you know, he doesn't understand. Is it the next uh, moment uh -huh. that the child will feel the urge yes. to open the bowel, the child will tend to Tighten. hold. Yes. To hold it okay. back. Yes. And every time yeah. he feels the urge, he holds it back. back. Okay. And that becomes now a character of holding everything back. Not only the bowel. What? Okay? Okay. Not only the bowel? <laughs> yes. It is called fixation. Fixation. The yeah. baby fixes everything inside. Okay. Even talking. The baby becomes, uh, he cannot go outside with people. Uh -huh. he, he cannot do anything because the toilet training of it's a child. Done properly, uh, 
determines also the well-being, the mental well-being of, of a, a human being. Okay, honestly, Lucy, I'm just so shocked <laughs> because I'm wondering. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You know, do people know these things, number one? Mm -hmm. And even teachers, do they know these things? Because now one thing that is happening is that because of the work situation mm. and other challenges, people are taking their children to schools, yes. to daycare centers. Mm. So even you as, uh, you know, do, do as, uh, our, our teachers, our daycare gi caregivers in daycare centers, are they, do they know these things? Let me start with the teachers. Mm -hmm. Our teachers are equipped as any other person who is equipped to go out and deal with the society. Yes. You go to universities and you find that to colleges, educational psychology is one of the common units yes. in the university. Yes. Pe people are equipped. Okay. I can say they are equipped. But when we look at our daycare centers, mm -hmm. who, are, who is the owner? of that daycare center. Yes. What are the qualifications? Yes. The, qu the other question is, yes, we are equipped in class, yes. but when we go out, do we practice? Exactly. Because you find, as he said, our systems do not provide us with the platforms, mm -hmm. with, the, with the good channels that yes. we can walk out and go and meet people in Barazas yes. and start sharing this information. Mm -hmm. Because you find like, I am in Kangundo level four working in the outpatient department. Yes, so, oh, I may talk to the few who during come. my places of my yes. times of but I have the duties that I have to perform. Exactly. I have to do my duties, I have to make sure that I meet my targets. Yes. But there is that community outside there. They mm -hmm. need to know all these things. Mm -hmm. But we do not we are not in a country, we are not in a system that allows us to disseminate the information. To disseminate the information. Yes. In a timely manner, in a consistent yes. manner. Because this is something that you have to be reminded. Every new mother, people are getting children so yes, early, yes. they have to know. Mm. Because yeah. if you look at the information, it's usually very key. Because key. Yes. like what he has just said about withholding. Yeah. With how, does, holding. how does an adult who has You look problem. at this baby mm -hmm. whom... I want to talk the opposite of what you said. Okay. The baby does it there. Mm -hmm. You say, oh, then can somebody clear the mess? Yes. Of course. What are you doing to mentor, to make sure that this baby knows? Mm. When we have to do toilet training, mm -hmm. it is done in one particular place, Please. not everywhere. Yeah. This is why you find we have people who cannot hold secrets <laughs> because <laughs> nakedness was uh, brought on their table, yeah. in their sitting room, in the outside the compound. So mm. what we are saying, w the initial area of life is okay, usually very so important. Critical. We are only looking for platforms where we can share this information. We can make sure that our mothers understand that whatever we do today, the caregivers to understand, the teachers to understand, the bosses to understand, mm -hmm. whatever we are doing today, whatever character we are seeing today is a manifestation of something. But this is not all. There is corrective measures, Thank that God, which right? can be taken. <laughs> yes. If you realize that something is going wrong somewhere, yes. you can talk to person. God yes. has created the human person in such a magnificent way, mm. such that not unless they do not have the positive attitude to learn, they can be able to be corrected. Okay. And by doing that, we will not end up in those mental health hospitals, yes. we mental health treatments, mm -hmm. we can be able to correct. Family plays a very big role okay. to mentor the person. We have two effects, mm -hmm. the positive and the, the negative. negative. If we find uh, ourselves in a family that is very supportive, mm -hmm. we motivate the children, mm -hmm. we tell them thank you, we show them love, we correct in a good way and in a consistent way. Yes. Don't correct one thing today and tomorrow you keep quiet. Yes. The children will take you as a joker. Mm. But if we continue co supporting our families, we are going to a very healthy nation. Yes. On the other side, if we are fighting in front of the children, mm. if we cannot accept our children, nowadays technology has changed. Yes. You find the father comes home in the evening on the laptop. Mm. The mom comes in the evening on yes. the phone. Mm. The children are there looking at you. Mm. What are we doing to our children? We need to 
embrace the older morals, yes. try to correct. Because the family, as we said, it is the first institution that we all land in. And if we don't grow well, if we are not mentored very well from the family, even in our places of work, in our churches, in our leadership in the country, we are going to have problems. Thank Mental you so health much. is becoming yeah. broad. That's like your, like your parting shot, basically. Oh, because I also yes. now I want to ask Anthony to give his parting shot. Because believe it or not, time is actually almost up here. Yes. Give us your parting shot based on... My parting shot will be like this. Uh, uh, we, we are there. The professionals are there. Mm. The psychologists are there. The teachers are there. Yes. And the platforms are there for us to, to, to teach yes. the communities what is happening. But the gap is that uh, we keep everything for ourselves. Yes. That's why we, we thank uh, GBS TV, for example, yeah. for giving us a platform. Yes. And uh, we are looking forward, we are by now, mm -hmm. as even we present this show, the government can have systems. Yes. The systems that we can identify these people mm. right from the community level. Yes. Before the symptoms uh, pile up for them, the first symptom, the second symptom, because as we have been talking, you realize that after this child has got mistrust, mm -hmm. okay, yes. the yeah. other one will be, you feel inferior, mm. okay, yes. the other one will be confused, mm. then this child, one, in one point or the other, will withdraw yes. from the people, yes. you will feel worthless, yes. you will feel that I'm not worth being a person, okay. yes. so the only thing I can do uh, is just go and take a bangi, something that can just make me feel good, the euphoric state. Mm -hmm. And then that person, uh, that particular person is already lost. Because once the mental health sets in, it's yes. a condition that one along. Yeah, it's long a long life. So uh, yeah. thank you so much. Uh, thank you so, so much because uh, we've been able to actually see, it's like we've talked about the origins of mental health and yes. mental illness mm. and we've seen that it comes from very far back mm. zero to 18 months so viewer thank you so much for joining us and uh, please keep it here because we're going to have a second part of this uh, show and we're going to continue learning our focus is mental health thank you so much and uh, we'll see you next time